Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, we are live after 5 a.m. and it is February 8th, and we are working on picture pool. Are there any questions about what you would like to know how to do as far as code blocks goes? I can show you that today. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to use your backpack. Okay, so if you guys go to code blocks here, and if you go over here to the right, you guys see my backpack. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to transfer code using your backpack. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is go over to uh, my projects, and I'm going to go to my very last app, which was Sprite Smash. Is that correct? Yes. And in Sprite Smash, we had a pause play button. There it is. So let's go look at the name of it, because I want to name it exactly like I did. I called it BTN Play Pause. Play Pause. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my blocks. And I can scroll out. And let's go find the pause play. There it is. BTN pause play click. So what I'm going to do is, if I blow this up, okay, do you guys see the BTN pause play? I can right click on this block and say add to backpack. 38 blocks. Okay. Now, if you guys look over here in your backpack, there are now 38 blocks in there. Okay. So, there it is. So, they're over in there now. You see how the puzzle pieces are in there? Now, <clears throat> What I would do, now that I've copied, this, this is really like copy and pasting. Everybody understand that? Okay. So now I'm going to go back to my projects. And I'm going to go back to picture pool. Okay. And now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go into here and do a layout. Horizontal arrangement down at the bottom. That's not where I wanted it to go. There it is. It's at the bottom. Its width is still parent. Background color is none. And now I can put in here a button. And I can go ahead and center this so that that pause play button is in the middle. And now I can set up that pause play button. And um, so let's click on it. I'm going to rename it BTN. Remember, we called it Play Pause. You want to get that exactly correct. Okay, you got to be exact. If not, it's not going to work with the backpack. Are you with me? Because remember, we had it ca called different things in the backpack. Okay. So. You can set up that button however you want. It really doesn't matter. I think I'm going to do 48 by 48. Make it an oval. And if I was smart, what I would do here is put in the exact same pictures that we used. You guys remember using those pictures? So I would go to Images, Upload, Choose a File. I would probably go back to my Documents. Um, 16, 17, quarter three, and I would probably go back to Sprite Smash. Yeah, I want to get these exact same buttons, so I'm going to go back to this folder. Another reason why you should save things in folders. There's that button, and then I'm going to upload this other button. Oh, one important thing you guys need to note here is that when you guys are, when, you, when you're changing this game up, right, if you're not going to use the Hummingbird anymore, Make sure 
you guys come down in here, okay, and you delete the hummingbird, don't let all these images stay in there when you're not using them. Are you with me on that? When you switch the flowers out, make sure you delete all these flowers, because if not, it's going to take up too much memory, okay? So there's my button. And now I just go to code blocks here, and I go into here, and I can go get this guy and put him in here, okay? Now, what's the problem? Backpacks are not always the easiest things to do here, okay? Uh, now, you don't have a global pause play count, right? So what are you going to have to do? It's saying, hey, you got a problem here. And, by the way, you don't have a clock called game time. And you don't have a clock called move sprite. And you don't have a image sprite player. Are you with me? So you got to take these out or you have to do something there to change them. Are you with me on this? So right now I need a pause play count. So I'm going to go to my variables. And I'm going to create a variable called pause exactly like I did before. Play count. Okay. Pause. Play. Nope. Pause play underscore count. Okay. And set it equal to zero. And now that should go away. Yeah, that goes away. Okay. And now that's starting to work. Okay. And now you got to go through here and you have to either take this stuff out. Do we want the do we want this one in there? No. So you just take the stuff out that you want. Are you with me on that? So I'm not going to say that backpack makes your life easier, but sometimes it does, you know what I mean? So if you like to use a backpack, use it. If you don't, I'm okay with that too. Write your own code blocks, okay? Would I need any of this stuff in here? Um, so now, you know, you got you guys could have to go into your, yeah, clock animate should be turned off. We don't have a clock move sprite, so you can delete that guy. Image sprite player enabled. So this is probably going to be image sprite bird. Okay. Um, CNV playing field. Canvas playing field. Okay, you with me? So I just go through there and I fix these to be what I want. So this is going to be clock animate. Um, don't need this one. Um, image sprite bird. Um, CNV canvas playing field. Okay. So all that goes into here. And now... What? Where did they go? I just lost it. Where? This right here? Where'd everything else go? Oh, is this it? Did I drag that out of there by, by accident? Yeah, I did. Okay. So this, this is the problem with blocks, is that if you grab the wrong thing, okay? So that's a quick video on how to use the backpack and add code to that. Okay? Keep calm and